Hello everyone, this is Ufar. I would like to show you one thing which interchangeably called geotagging, location services for photos, GPS tagging for photographs, etc. Why you we need it as planner artists and as any people who travel, we take a lot of photographs quite often with a smartphone, which is which are great now. And not only image itself has a value, but also location where it was taken. You want to come back and paint this view later or you want to know how far you are from that spot where you took this picture or you want just to share this photograph with people who may want to uh, go to that place and paint it how to do that you need to have your these type of services on do you have it on or off you may not know and let's check it first i know that i have them on and i'll show you the difference we go to photos and here are photographs from today and from yesterday. And if I open any of them, uh, these are photographs which I took on my camera, not those which I save from social media, from text messages, airdrop or anything. Everything will be here. It's called the timeline. But those which I took with my camera, that's what we're talking about. And let's pick any, let's say this one. Okay, nice view. Uh, I was driving along the way here i stopped and took pictures i want to come back to this place and i don't remember which exit it was if i uh press here it doesn't even tell me uh, what's the town here or anything else sometimes it shows up on the top like cedar city or this and that uh, it will not give you a mailbox or um, latitude longitude but my camera saves it how i can access that data I swipe this photograph up just from the photograph, swipe it up. And I have here some metadata, which camera, which lens I used, what time of the day, which day of the week, etc. On the bottom, if I scroll down further, well, it doesn't really help. Let me scroll down much. Yes, um, I have this little map and also thumbnail of my photograph, which means I have location services for camera on gps tagging geotagging etc it also tells me cedar city and word adjust you need to remember uh that map which you have here is a limited sp specific type of map not that map which you can gives you driving directions if i tap on it i can zoom in i mean zoom in don't see anything i see that was along the route 15 and zoom out and i see other stuff around but there is no button uh, to drive here I, there is no my own location area so this is very limited again uh, i use uh, map but I, there is a written word show nearby photos all photos which have geotag and taking around will be here you see six photos in that spot six five photos in that spot uh, three photos in that spot if i zoom out i can see the whole country which is covered by photographs i took in different locations okay and i can zoom in and then find specific photograph or i can go to timeline and uh, find where it was taken around so i'm coming i'm going back you see this arrow sign on the left uh, top of the screen if you press cedar city here this blue, it's hyperlink. It will bring you to the real map. This is where the gold is. You press here and it shows you now full function map. And you can, of course, do the same way, zoom in, zoom out. Uh, but you have here driving, uh, driving option, which is great. It's two hours and 48 minutes. I, I don't think I'm going to drive there uh, tonight. Maybe on my way back, but I see it's very close to Zion National Park. So and you can you can do with this uh, whatever you want. You can close uh, driving and share uh, this location with other people. How you will do that? You see the sign. Uh, you see the Cedar City, and then on the right there is cross sign, and between cross sign and Cedar City there is a box with an arrow up which means uh, getting this information out of your phone or out of this app. So if I tap on it, I can share it through my social media, messages, etc. copy it and put it into um, 
my message. That's one way. But how to send this image the way as I see it with all that uh, coordinates? You can do that only a couple of ways as far as I know. One of them is direct airdrop. If you have someone with iPhone and you have iPhone, and I'm showing things on iPhone because that's the phone I have, uh, they will receive it as airdrop if everything works well. And then they can, in their timeline, in photos, swipe it up and see exactly what you see here. Okay, that's one thing. Second thing is a uh, regular text messaging. You attach your photo, they get that photo, and that photo has that geotagging info. But there is a trick. Let's say I share this uh, photo with my family. And let's say I'm saying like, oh, I'm staying in this hotel, please come, or like I'm here, or this is your PR artist, I'm painting that spot and you were able to send a photo, they say, wow, it's a nice picture, but how to drive there? Of course, you can send as a second text message uh, that uh, longitude and uh, longitivity, or whatever, longitude and uh, latitude, and then they need to put it to maps. That's kind of maps, I think only Google will work with that. It's a difficult thing. Much easier just to go here and say, wow, I wanna drive. They try, if they try to swipe this up, it doesn't work here. It works only the way if you really uh, save it to timeline and then open it in timeline. I need to uh, save the photo. You see the, on the bottom? There are many different options on the bottom. Save photo. I save it. Okay. And nothing else, nothing happened here. But what happened, if I go to photos, and uh, I go to my timeline, so I need to really find this photograph. And this photograph will be here, if you could see, like on the bottom, two photographs of the same, this and this. So it's incorporated timeline according to the time when it was taken, yesterday at after uh, 6 p.m. And one photograph will show you part of one, yesterday and time. And the second photograph says where it's coming from. It's coming from my text message, actually from my own, from me. And right now, even with this photograph, which came to me through the text message, I swipe up, I have this all metadata, and then uh, at times it says little trouble, uh, going like this and then I press on para one let me close that map to different image I press here on para one I can drive so this spot is a little closer so that's how it works if you share this photograph uh, through not this which I saved any photograph which has GPS tagging uh, through let's say Facebook Messenger which we are using uh as far as as of now it chops off by privacy uh function uh, whatever the restrictions all uh gps tagging i guess because kids use they take pictures of their family and then the trouble happen so but if you don't have this uh working what you do you need to turn on your gps geotagging location services on what you do you go to setting and here somewhere you can find location. I usually, I know it's really difficult to scroll down and find it. What I do, I kind of swipe things down and then on top you see under the setting the word search. I type in here location and along many, many options where location word is mentioned in settings, I choose this hand sign on a blue with a blue background, you see this? Now it's almost on top. I tap on location, and now uh, you may possibly have it off and it looks like this. So mine is on, and then once it's on, I scroll down and find, I have a lot of apps. In. Uh, I go to camera, you see this camera sign? And then in camera app, um, 
you may possibly have a, like never uh, use location services that is why you don't have that map and uh, coordinates are preserved while you take your pictures I choose while using the app and it works perfectly well for me and if you have this off have it on because you need precise location to know exactly where you need to drive and then maybe where you want to take a hike with your easel and put your easel and paint from so that's it so I hope this helps and you'll be able to enjoy your trip from now I mean uh, now and in the future what you've been painting uh, took or took photographs uh, during your trip will be accessible to you not only for the visual pleasure but uh, to be able to come to that place thank you sorry for the long video i hope that was helpful and uh, ask me questions if you have any